Here we are at the creek. Let's see if we can get down here without falling on our ass. Water's looking a little bit low right now. So the rig I have on right now is a trout magnet jig head and a float. We're gonna toss a gulp minnow out here first and see if we can't get a bite. I also got some other stuff I can try if I don't get a bite on the gulp minnow. Grubs, soft plastics, Rapala. I might even have a spinner or something in there. Usually they go for the gulp minnow and none of that other stuff, but I have it just in case. Yeah, that right there. Let's see if we can get a fish. Well, I just put my sunglasses on and it's not very sunny all of a sudden. Kind of hard to see. Oh, well, I got a leaf on there. I'm not going to get any bites while I have a leaf. So far, I think I've just had some really small ones playing with it. A couple of bites. But since I haven't hooked into anything, let's start walking down. So we're going to switch to a J-hook bottom rig with a few split shots. Yeah, we're going with size 8 Panfish Aberdeen. Can you see it? It's a pretty small hook. So I've quickly changed up the rig. I got three BB sized pinch on sinkers and that size eight hook with the same gulp minnow. Let's fish this instead and see if we can catch anything in the same area. There we go. There we go, fish on. First fish of the day. Looks like a green sunfish. All right, wade in the creek. First fish of the day right here, green sunfish. Not very big, I would say about five inches. Maybe four and a half. Let's let him go. Hi, I'm Alex from Brazil. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. Here we go. What do we have here? Bluegill. Decent sized bluegill too. Come on, how are you hooked? There we go. Let's take a look. There we go. We got about a five and a half inch bluegill here. Got him on that gulp minnow in the creek. Well, pretty much just that one bluegill right here. Let's keep walking. What have I caught so far? One bluegill and one green sunfish. Fish on, here we go. Here we go, third fish of the day. Get over here. Shiner, common shiner. Let's take a look at him, common shiner. Yeah, third species of the day, got him on a gulp minnow. Oh no, I'm up in the tree. Let's go get it. Let go, this stupid branch. There we go. Well, my minnow is pretty mangled and since I'm at a good stopping point, we're gonna change it out right now. Get a fresh gulp minnow on here. I got three fish on that last one before it was torn up, but I also caught a few trees as well. 
Yeah, we're going back to the float. We're going to set it at, I don't know, about a foot deep with a pinch on sinker in between the float and the hook. Fish on with the float. What do we got? Bluegill, second bluegill of the day. Three and a half incher. Oh, had a bite right away. Dang it, wasn't ready. Oh. Missed him. Kind of hard to see my float way down there. I'm just making excuses. Let's get them though. Ooh. Had a bite, they let it go right away. Might be some small, small fish down there. Shiners or something like this. Hey, what's up guys? This is Mario Jackson from RWF. Keep it realistic with realistic fishing. I'm a bit surprised I haven't got any bass yet. You know, even just those tiny bass. Got them. Something small. Is it a bass? It's a shiner. Let's take a quick look. Shiner number two. Wiggly is trying to get away. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's let him go. Fish on. This one feels a little bit beefier. Yeah, just a little bit. We got a long ear sunfish here. Yeah, good looking fish. Colorful. Yeah, the float tends to work better in these open kind of areas, right? Where I'm fishing in the middle. But if I was going to cast it right up against the bank, I don't think I would want the float on. So in a little while, we're going to change it up and we're going to fish against the bank without the float. Got him. Fish on. Creek chub. Fifth species of the day. Creek chub. Give me that back. This is a slimy, roly poly kind of fish right here, so we're going to do our best to get a look at them. Yeah, see that line down the center? Kind of like a bass. That's how you can tell the difference between this fish and the shiner. Creek chub, species number five. This is Freddie K. Myers with UCW and the RWF, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Everybody, one time with me now, say, keep it realistic. Keep it realistic. While I did get a few down here on this side, in these deeper pools, we're gonna go up this way, back the way we came. 
we're getting to a spot where I'm going to take the float off. Fish on. What do we got? Shiner. Big shiner. That's the biggest fish of the day so far. Common shiner. Yeah, there we go. We got about a five and a half, six inch shiner here. That's the biggest fish of the day so far. Fish on. Here we go. Here we go. Under the bridge. What did we get? Bluegill. Yeah, nice little bluegill here. About a three and a half incher. Fish. This might be it, species number six. Feels like a good fish. Oh yeah, largemouth bass in the creek. Yes, yes. Here's the apex predator of this creek right here. Yeah, here we go. Quarter pounder with cheese. Got a largemouth bass here in the creek. Creek largemouth, let me double check. Is the tongue smooth? No. The tongue has a patch. Look at, see the little patch? This is not a largemouth bass. This is a spotted bass. Largemouth bass do not have that. Still the sixth species of the day, spotted bass. Let's let it go. Well, that's it. Time to get out of here. I sure am glad I got that bass. Yeah, I'd say that went pretty well. I tried the float for a while. I fished without the float for a while. I caught fish on both techniques. I think the float worked better in the deep pools. And over here, the split shot rig did the trick. I even got a small spotted bass. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.